Hello students. Today we are going to learn charge of rule from grade 12 biology molecular basis chapter. So what exactly is charge of rule? What, where was it used? First and foremost, this was a rule which helped um, in understanding the structure of DNA. I hope you remember double helix model was put forward and for understanding or coming up with the double helix model, uh, Watson and Crick in 1953, there were two important concepts that were put into use. The first one was charge of rule. Second one was the X-ray diffraction data. So what is this charge of rule? There was a person who came up with a idea that there has to be a ratio of purines and pyrimidines in 1 is to 1. What exactly are purines and pyrimidines? I hope you remember when we talk about the DNA structure, DNA is made up of nucleotides, right? And nucleotides have three subunits, that is a sugar is there, a phosphate is there and then nitrogen bases are there. Nitrogen bases are classified into purines and pyrimidines. Adenine and guanine of the DNA are called as purines. Cytosine and thymine of the, of the DNA are called as pyrimidines. Now what is the rule? This rule states that A and G, if you take A and G, and if you take C and T, its ratio of this to this would be equal. Right? Equal. That is what 1 is to 1 means. Okay? So, um, with respect to this, there are so many questions that are asked. Two mark questions. So, we need to solve them. Okay? So, in simpler words, what do you, what is it? What is this rule? So, as they ask you for two marks, you need to write this. Ratio of purines and pyrimidines are equal or 1 is to 1, first statement. Second statement is amount of guanine is equal to cytosine. And amount of adenine is equal to thymine. This makes sense, right? Why does it make sense? Because adenine always pairs with thymine on the other strand. Correct? If it is pairing, that is A is pairing with T, the number of A will be equal to T, obviously, right? The same way G pairs with C on the other strand. So, that means if there is 1 G, there has to be 1 C also. If there are 10 G, there has to be 10 C also. That is common sense, right? So, how are we using this or what kind of questions can you get in your board examination and how can we solve that? Alright, so we'll go to uh, questions and then try to solve it. Okay, first question. Uh, the question says that a double stranded DNA has 20% of cytosine. So what, do, what does it also say? If this immediately uh, you can say that cytosine is 20%. So whenever you get percentage, we have to take total number to be 100. Okay, so let's start solving this question. The total number is 100. Okay. 100 is the total number of base uh, pairs, let's say. In that, 20 are cytosine. So, C is equal to 20, which is also equal to G. Right? Because they pair up. Now, how much will be total of C and G? C is 20. G is also 20. So, total of C and G would be 40. You agree? Yes? Alright. Now, how much is left over? 60 are left over. Right? How do we get the 60? That I hope you know. 100 minus already got total number. 40 is equal to 60. Now, 60 base pair that are there. We don't know what it is. Let's say. Alright? Obviously, it has to be A and T only. There is no other uh, base pair. There are no other nitrogen bases in the DNA. So, a and T together is 60. Correct? Because A is equal to T. Now, can you tell me A plus T is equal to 60. So, what will be A? A will be half of 60 that is 30. The question is how much is A? Okay. 
So let's do a few more so that if you didn't get the first one, let's see if we can get from the second one. Okay. Next question says, if the uh, adenine is 31%, okay, so total number how much we have to take? Total is 100. Okay, total is 100. Now in that A is equal to 31, therefore T is also 31 for sure. Total of A plus T will be 62. Leftover is 100 minus 62. How much is 100 minus 62? 100 minus 60 is 40. Minus 2 more, 38. Okay. So, 38 is what? C plus G is equal to 38. Now, how much is cytosine? Cytosine will be half of this number. Correct? C is equal to half of 30 is 15 plus 4. That's it. So, here no options are given. If options are given, it's much easier. Otherwise, also you should be able to do it. Options are usually given for this. It's an MCQ. But nowadays, you're getting this in the form of two mark question. So, you should be able to easily get it. Okay. I hope it is clear. Easy calculation. Don't, uh, don't do any formula. It's direct. Total is 100. Let's say to take every time, take total to be 100. If no number is given, then from there, whatever number is given, whatever nitrogen base is given, write that number down. Like here, adenine is given. Then, obviously, the its complementary base also same same number it would be. Total you make from hundred you subtract, and that number is the other two bases total divided by two. That's it. Simple. Okay. So in this question, I solved it for you so that it is easy for me to explain as well. In this question, they are asking a DNA fragment, fragment has 1500 total nucleotides. In that, guanine number is given. Okay, 410 is a guanine number. When you have guanine number, you can easily write cytosine number which is equal to the same. Right? And that is also 410 now. What will be to total of C plus G then? You add this, you get a number 820. Right? Now, we need to find out A and T as well, isn't it? A and T will be what? Other than this, other than A20, whatever is left over is all A plus T or A and T together, correct? So, we need to minus 1000 from 1500, which is a total number, we need to minus the total of this, okay? Total of C plus G, we subtracted and we got 660. What is 660 now? That is total number of adenine and thymine. We know adenine number and thymine number are equal. That is A will be half of this and T also will be half of this. So you got these. But see this, that is not the question asked. The question asked is how many pyrimidines are there? Okay, pyrimidines are which all children? Pyrimidines are T and C, correct? So, purines are A and G and pyrimidines are T and C. So, that is what they are asking how much are there. So, what we have to do? Total number of pyrimidines are um, thymine plus cytosine. Thymine is 330, cytosine is um, 410. So, total is 740. So, this is how you solve such questions. If they are not giving percentage, instead total number is given. Now, can you try to answer this by yourself? And let me know the answer for the question. They have given um, 1000 nucleotides are they total. Um, out of them, 240 are adenine. Okay. So, I'll just write, you, write only the data for you this time. Total is equal to 1000. Okay. A is given as 240. How many pyrimidine paces are there? You have to find out and let me know in the comments. Thank you.